Good morning, happy Friday, TGIF. Okay, so today's tutorial is gonna be over painting antlers. So you can see this one I've already painted. These are sheds, so they have the base on them. You didn't have to cut them off. Um, got gold, a little stripe of white, some blue, my favorite colors. Um, and then on the one that matches it, this black here in the center, is actually chalkboard paint so I can write on it if I wanted to um, so I'll probably put my little boy's name on here and stick it in his room or something like that but that's what today's tutorial is gonna be about and I didn't have any more sheds so um, if you don't then you can uh, saw them off and you won't have the base of the antler on there which is fine I guess depending on what you're using it for um, we also have these where it was just cut off and then I have one with the full skull on it and if you wanted to do this one this one would be really cool because you could do you could paint this so it was a solid color and then put those little jewels on it we could put rhinestones on it you could wrap it in leather um, you could do a lot of different things with this depending on who it's for, uh, but this one's really cool. Okay, so for supplies, all I have, I just grabbed a paper towel to wipe my brushes off with, a little cup of water to wash them off with. I don't have paper plates, we don't buy paper plates, so I just grabbed a container lid. And then I don't know if you can see this. Maybe if I put it right there. Um, it's a really small, thin paintbrush. And then I have a fatter one for if I'm going to paint a larger area. But this smaller one's good for the small white lines like on that first antler that I showed you. And then you're going to want to do your paint. So on my wheeling and dealing tab, there's a... A column for the apple barrel paint which comes in little tubes this is a big one that I have um, and it's of the bl a blue color that they have but this is a larger bottle than the little column I have on the wheeling and dealing site but that little uh, column is uh, advertisement on Amazon apple barrel has a store on Amazon but they have an 18 piece set of these paints and they're awesome for little household crafts like this so go check it out I'm gonna use gray silver black so those are just the colors I've chosen um, you can do whatever colors you want and we'll get started okay so I'm gonna take uh, this gray color that I have and I'm gonna put a little bit on my lid so I'm going to squirt out just a little bit of this color. And I'm going to do a few dots of it because I'm going to make multiple colors of gray, um, some that are darker than others. Okay, so I have three little dots of that gray color, but then I'm going to go back and add different amounts of black to two of them so I can have three different shades of gray because I'm going to do an all gray gray and silver horn. So, be back. Okay, so I've mixed my colors. I don't know if you can really see those. One is a light gray, one is more of a charcoal, and then one is pretty much almost black. So I'm going to use those colors. So what I do first, um, you can do it with a pencil, you can do it with a marker, I wouldn't recommend using a marker if you're going to use a lighter color like yellow on your deer horn because it'll probably bleed through. Okay, so I'm going to use this little marker. It's just a marker pen um, and it's black. It doesn't matter because I'm using blacks and grays so it won't bleed through. So it doesn't matter what design. Do what you want to do. Um, put some angles in there. Put some straight lines across to contrast it out a little bit. I'm going to do a gradient color scale on mine. So I'm going to start with the darkest gray down here and I'm going to go up to the lightest. Um, so I'm just going to mark where I want the boundaries of my colors to be. So on this one, I'm going to do the black down here and I'm, I'm going to do this one straight across since this one has this little horn right here. I'm not going to do a diagonal line on here. 
So I'm just going to quickly draw a line that, and it does not have to be perfect, but just roughly draw a relatively straight line that meets up on the other side. Perfect. Pretty much met up over there. You see that really thin line? That's where I'm going to paint my black from there down. Um, maybe a solid strip of gray. So I'm going to do a thinner band right here. So it's just going to be slightly above this other line. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect because you're not going to be able to paint a perfectly straight line on these deer antlers anyway. They're pretty rigid. So there's my second line, if you can see it. And so this band right here is going to be gray. I'll leave this little part open until we get up here. I'm going to do a diagonal kind of point over here. So what you want to do is I draw a V, I don't know if you can see that, draw a V like that on each side and then just connect them on the sides. So front and back draw a V that's relatively what you think is similar in angle and then you just kind of round them and connect them on the sides. Go up and kind of create a rainbow, rainbow connection. So got a V and it goes up and connects and then on this side is the other V and again on that side it goes up and it connects and it comes back down. And right here I want to put another V just like I had there because it's just going to be a, a stripe. So, perfect. So it's going to be, where are we? A stripe. Like that. Okay. I'll do a band right here. About the same thickness as the one on the bottom. So here again, I'm just drawing very rough lines going all the way around the deer antler. And I'm making this up as I go. So, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. And it's your own creation, so do what your little heart desires. And I'll do one more V up here to give it a little dimension and break up on this taller tine. So this V will be a little sharper. And I don't think I'll make that a band. I think I'll just make that a, a break in the paint or it changes to a different paint color. Okay, so I have my deer antler marked out. So now we just got to paint it. So I'll take, since this bottom part is going to be predominantly black, I'm just going to take some black paint on my thicker brush and start painting. And you literally just slap it on there and keep going until you have this little section completed. And at that line where this paint's supposed to stop, this paintbrush has a really flat, fine edge on it. So just take this brush and stipple across that line and you'll, you'll be fine on your straight line for the band. Okay, see? Painted it all the way around. 
just went right up to that line that I drew. You can't even tell the lines there because they're the same color and it's not perfect. So do that in a silver color that I have here to give it some little shine to break up the chromatic scale that I'm going for. I can get this paint out. Oops, there we go. So I just, the little cup of water that I had, sticking my paintbrush in there, washing it off, and patting it on my paper towel that I brought here. Okay, so now for this band, I'm probably gonna end up using this other smaller paintbrush anyway, because that's a pretty thin band um, for that other paintbrush. So we're just going to dip this in there and do the same thing. I'm going to just go all the way around and paint this. And if you feel like your paint is too thin and it doesn't put on a thick enough layer, it doesn't cover um, as well as you thought it would, let it dry and go back and put another layer until you're satisfied. If you're not happy, nobody happy. We still not happy. Okay, so I have this little silver stripe painted. Um, it has a little shine to it, so it's a little different than my gray colors over here. So now I'm going to take the middle gray that I created, the more charcoal color, and that's going to go next. Okay, so I finished painting. You can't really tell in this lighting, maybe there, that's a little lighter. So it goes black, silver, and then my charcoal gray. And I'm going to do another silver band. So take my smaller paintbrush. And this is the V, so this is on that V that we first drew. So another trick, if your paint, say you've had the paint for a while, it's been sitting up there and like, man, I really need to craft, and then you never do for years and your paint gets thick. Um, just bear, dip your paintbrush and just dip it in the water and stick it in your paint and then it'll thin it out a little bit. Um, if it's real bad, just chunk it. Go buy a new one. They're not that expensive. Okay, so I got my silver stripe painted in my next one. So on the next portion, I'm just going to go back with that same charcoal color because I want it to be charcoal. So I'm going to have two sections that are the same color by choice. So we're going to go all the way up the time. And even on these times, like on these longer parts that I'm painting right here, if you wanted to do another up here, a little V, and do another band, or do switch a color and make the, the tip a color, then after a little pop, then go for it. I mean, the design is completely up to you. you can, possibilities are endless. Okay, so I've got that portion painted. I'm going to stick my brush back in my water, kind of rinse it off a little bit. I've got another band up here, so I'm going to do that band in this silver color. All right. 
got that silver line painted. So this next color um, is going to include this tine, and then I have that other V up here, and I'm going to do the lightest gray, which is just that original gray. I didn't add any black to this one, and it's going to be the lightest. <clears throat> so it's going to be quite a bit lighter than that middle color. I'll probably have to put a few coats of this on here because I'm it's pretty thin. Usually um these dry really quickly. So Normally, by the time you get done painting it, the bottom is completely dry, whatever you painted first, rather. Okay, I think I pretty much have that covered how I want it. Um, and then the top, I'm actually going to do the top in that silver color. I kind of just decided this on the whim. Um, I like how shiny it is, so I want the very top point to be shiny. That silver is one of those, if you really wanted to, you could probably do another coat, but I'm not too concerned about it. It looks pretty good to me. Um, I might go back later and do another coat. Um, but here's my deer horn. So, um, pretty much I did black, silver, charcoal, silver, charcoal, silver, the lightest gray, and then the silver on the point. So, uh, for me... I would probably do both of these the exact same way the other half of this antler started out like this ended up like this do both of these the exact same way um, get a bushel of fake hot pink flowers stick them in the middle to create the little head centerpiece and stick it up on the wall um, that's just an idea that'd be really cute for a little girls room or um, if you want to do this in your living room, maybe not choose hot pink. It could go depending on what you got in there. Um, but pick your favorite color, add some fake flowers to it, put it around some candles and some river rock. Possibilities again are endless. So this was the tutorial how to paint this. Um, for these other ones, you could do the same exact thing. They're just connected. They're not separate. So you paint them however you want it. Do it the exact same way. But then you could get creative. Um, stick the flowers on this piece. Or paint this piece. Bejewel this piece. Do whatever you want with that. Um, but that could be really cool. And you could definitely hang that on the wall very easily. So there's our tutorial for our wonderful Friday. If you have any questions, comments, um, let me know, post them down below, and I got a crying baby I gotta get to.